Let me pose that question to you. What have you seen over the last few weeks? Has <clears throat> demand remained strong? I know that you did see some pent up demand and strong uptick at the beginning of that reopening, but what's the latest? Yeah, you know, that that's one of the great things uh, about being a privately held company. I don't have a quiet period. Um, yeah, what I can tell you is that uh, initially there was some tremendous pent up demand to come to Las Vegas. And I think what we've seen here is an evolution of customers. Um, customers have changed. Uh, you know, since we've had the uh, uh, masking requirement, um, initially it was a little bit rough, but uh, but now I think I think uh, society's changed quite a bit in the last uh, last three weeks. And um, everyone, uh, everyone has a mask on and everyone's figuring out a way how to uh, stay safe and have fun. The one thing I would say that's most unique to me is, is obviously we're, we're doing quite a bit with social distancing in Las Vegas in, in the casinos. And what that does is it creates far lower head counts. But what's really surprising is um, actually our, our slot numbers, our table numbers, um, they're up and, and in some areas up dramatically. So the spend per person is is up. Um, far more than what we would expect. And I, I would expect some of the publicly traded companies that are going to be reporting here uh, next month um, are going to indicate, indicate, uh, indicate that. So, Derek, you have been seeing, you know, most people inside of your casinos wear masks. That is a stark contrast to the images that we saw when the casinos first reopened. And in terms of, I know you say that customers are spending more, but how is business doing? What levels is it approaching in terms of, let's say, year on year? Well, year on year, you know, in Nevada, we opened on June the 4th. And, um, you know, we finished uh, the month um, up year on year, and with, that's with three less days. So, uh, again, in our, in our uh, organization, the gaming spend was, uh, was above uh, June of 2019. Um, and that was with far less, uh, less people here. So uh, I think the spend is there. Um, we're just doing everything we can to uh, make sure that people have a great experience where they can uh, stay safe and have some fun. Good morning, Derek. Uh, it's John. Uh, so Las Vegas casinos are notorious for using technology to keep their money safe and controlling the environment inside. Do you need to use technology for health now? I'm thinking infrared cameras to see who's got a temperature that might not have reported that. Cameras to monitor who's wearing a mask and maybe who's flouting the rules and who's not. Yeah, so we, what we did is we implemented uh, temperature checks at all of our entrances. Um, the, uh, the regulation is that we have to temperature check all hotel guests, but we're temperature checking every person that comes into all of our casinos um, right, right before they come in the door. And what we found is that makes people feel uh, a bit more comfortable. That, that really sets the table for when people come inside that they know they have to wear a mask. Um, at that point, if, if someone doesn't have one, we pro provide a mask for them. So it kind of sets the table for all that. So I think some of the technology and some of the changes that have been implemented uh, have, uh, have, have worked out pretty well so far. And I'm wondering, is there anything else that you're contemplating or you think that the industry should do um, to, to maybe even carry that on going forward? Because uh, I, I imagine there'll be a time when maybe a temperature check at the door might feel a little uh, obtrusive. I'm hoping we get to, to that time. And maybe there's other technology that could have a similar impact. Yeah, I think I think what we're seeing, we're seeing some very radical uh, escalation in technology. Like I said, uh, the, the entire casino world has really evolved quite a bit, at least in, at least in uh, Nevada, over the last uh, three weeks. So I, I fully expect that over the course of uh, the next week or two, we're going to continue to evolve. Um, our current health and safety plan that's uh, filed with the Nevada Gaming Control Board is Plan 22. So you can, you can see that you know, we continue to evolve. Um, as far as on the floor goes, it's, it's the responsibility that everyone that works here in, in every position, if someone doesn't have a mask on, it's our responsibility to talk to them and uh, do it in a manner that uh, that's friendly and say, hey, if you're in here, you have to wear a mask. And and in our casinos, you must wear a mask. 